In one way or another, we've all been impacted by vaccines. They're necessary in protecting people from acquiring and spreading harmful infectious diseases. Recently, the COVID-19 pandemic and its related mRNA vaccine has attracted a lot of negative social media attention. Everyone from major news outlets and politicians to doctors to just about anyone with a Twitter account are in intense debate over whether the COVID-19 vaccine causes myocarditis, a cardiovascular disease resulting in the inflammation of the heart. Many individuals are now hesitant or avoiding getting vaccinated altogether. Perhaps you are one of these concerned individuals. But is there any truth to these claims? Well, don't worry. In this video, we'll discuss what myocarditis is and explore its potential associations with the vaccine. By the end of this video, we hope to clear any hesitancy you may have and answer the question on whether you should take the vaccine. As a quick disclaimer, we want to emphasize that vaccines are extremely politicized right now. The focus of this video is not to dwell on politics, but rather to provide scientific and medical clarity on the topic. On matters relating to your health, always consult your healthcare provider. The disease at the center of this issue is myocarditis. Simply put, myocarditis is the inflammation of the heart muscle. The inflammation can affect the heart's muscle cells and electrical system, impacting its ability to pump blood, potentially causing arrhythmia, which is an irregular heartbeat. In severe instances, myocarditis can weaken the heart so much that it is unable to adequately pump blood throughout the body, resulting in blood clots and potential stroke or heart attack. Some people may undergo myocarditis without experiencing any symptoms. Others may experience a variety of different ones including chest pain, fatigue, shortness of breath, arrhythmias, swelling in the legs, muscle aches, and more. Generally, myocarditis is self-resolving and it goes away without permanent consequences. However, in severe cases, certain complications can occur including heart failure, heart attack, or sudden cardiac death. To diagnose myocarditis, one usually must undergo any of the following tests including an ECG, chest x-ray, echocardiogram, biopsy, and more. Myocarditis is rare, but when it does occur, it usually is caused by infections to the body, including viruses like the common cold, influenza, COVID-19, bacteria, parasites, and fungi. Other causes of myocarditis include exposure to chemicals and radiation, medications, or illegal drugs like cocaine, as well as inflammatory diseases like lupus, which causes the immune system to attack one's body. There is no single cure for myocarditis, but doctors may authorize varying treatments including the prescription of ACE inhibitors, which help to lower blood pressure, beta blockers, which improve arrhythmias, diuretics, which decrease fluid congestion, or corticosteroids, which help reduce inflammation in the body. Since 2020, there have been several comprehensive studies conducted across the globe confirming that the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine does indeed increase the medical risk of acquiring myocarditis. Additionally, the Public Health Agency of Canada and the World Health Organization have all corroborated these studies, acknowledging the increased risk of cardiac complications and myocarditis, especially from the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Regarding affected populations, studies have found that compared to unvaccinated people, the risk of myocarditis in COVID-19 vaccinated individuals were 2.13 fold higher and that the risk of myocarditis increased in individuals who received their second dose, as opposed to those who only received one. Studies have also found that the highest rates of myocarditis were among adolescent males aged 12 to 17 and young men aged 18 to 24 years old after they received their second dose. There also exists significant risks in males over 30 to develop the condition. The specific mechanism of how the vaccine causes myocarditis remains largely unknown. It's important to note that myocarditis is not a new side effect of vaccinations. The increased risk of obtaining the condition has been associated with other vaccines in the past, including smallpox. That being said, there are three possible theories as to how the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines may induce myocarditis. The first possible mechanism is mRNA immune reactivity. A person's immune system might detect the mRNA in the COVID vaccine as an antigen, resulting in the activation of antibodies and inflammatory responses in the heart. The second potential mechanism is through molecular mimicry. It's possible that antibodies directed to attack the COVID-19 virus may cross-react with the structurally similar human protein sequences already found in one's body, like the alpha myosin heavy chain, a peptide found in the heart resulting in inadvertent heart inflammation or injury. Finally, hormonal differences may also drive the mechanism. Testosterone can inhibit anti-inflammatory immune cells and promote the release of helper T cells, 
which are pro-inflammatory and often lead to an aggressive immune response. On the contrary, oestrogen has inhibitory effects on pro-inflammatory T cells. This may be a possible reason why most myocarditis cases are seen in younger males compared to females. Each of these mechanisms are simply theories. Ultimately, the risk of acquiring myocarditis from the vaccine could be influenced by a person's age, sex, and immune genetic background, including their history of past infections, medications, and more. This leads us to the most obvious question, that being, should you take the vaccine or its additional doses? Despite what research says on the associations and risks with myocarditis, the Public Health Agency of Canada, the CDC, and the WHO all maintain the stance that one should continue to get vaccinated as the known risks and possible complications of the COVID-19 vaccine far outweigh the potential risk of having a negative reaction to the vaccine, including acquiring myocarditis. Multiple studies also report this stance of continued vaccination. It's reported that in the U.S. there exists roughly 12.6 cases of myocarditis per million doses of second-dose mRNA vaccination among all individuals aged 12 to 39. A study in British Columbia found that the overall rate of myocarditis was 0.97 per 100,000 mRNA vaccine doses in a 7-day window and 1.31 cases per 100,000 within a 21-day window. Additionally, a study examining over 55 million vaccinated cohorts found that the risk of myocarditis is more than sevenfold higher in people who are infected with COVID-19 compared to those who received the vaccine. And finally, data shows that the most patients presenting with myocarditis after receiving the vaccine made full recoveries from the disease within at least 90 days. To conclude, this video provided a brief overview on myocarditis. It also highlighted the association between the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines and myocarditis and provided substantial evidence as to why individuals should continue to obtain vaccines. Vaccines are subject to a lot of conspiracy and misinformation. Remember to be aware of the sources you might receive medical news or information from and be sure to consult your healthcare provider before making decisions concerning your health. Thanks for watching.